Should you be holding MetaMonkey for long term, or this project is just a short term play? Well in this video we are going to find out, and I am also going to explain everything in detail, so make sure to watch this video till the end. Before I begin this video, I would like to give you a short disclaimer, this video was specially made for the people who are planning to hold it for long term, and this token still has potential to give you 2x to 10x return or more, but there are some serious red flags which I want to discuss in this video. So if you are here to only hear positive thing, please skip this video. Now guys most of us jumped into the pre-sale, thinking it will give us good returns, but sadly the return was not as expected, the maximum return this project gave to the pre-sale investors was just 2x, obviously people were expecting a quick 5x or 10x, but it didn't go as per the plan, and then everyone started blaming the market conditions. So guys you can't really complain that this project didn't 10x or 100x, I mean we all took a gamble, most of us knew about the risk, but the good thing is we are still in profit, but there is one problem here, some people are falling for the long term trap, investors are saying they are planning to invest in this project for a period of one year or more, so before you plan on investing in this project for long term, let's discuss about some red flags. I recently made a video on MetaMonkey 4 days ago, where we talked about the $1 million deal, and in that video I had talked about some red flags, but I am not sure how many people watched that video till the end, so let me give you a quick recap, so the CEO of MetaMonkey Mr. Augustine Gohill owns a company called Cognitgo, now the reason for bringing this company name here is because, the team is claiming that the Cognitgo is an established business and it paid NS Lab 1 million from their own pocket, this means they money was not paid out of investors pocket. Now obviously we heard this same exact statement from Saitama, so obviously, I was not really convinced, so I did some digging and found out all the social media accounts of Cognitgo were created just a month ago of MetaMonkey's launch, that is in August, now this team claims that it's an established company since 2008, but their website was created just two years ago, and all social media accounts were created just a month ago of MetaMonkey's launch, in fact one of their technology partners. Creativia doesn't even have a professional website. The website has no SSL certificate and looks like it has been created with the help of some WordPress template by some noob developer. So on one hand you're talking about game-changing technology and on the other hand you don't even own a professional website. Now check this out, this user says, I got a bag of Meta Monkey, but something fishy here. Dev said he has a big company and approximate 80 people are working for his company. I have done some research. But wait before you trust what this user says, there are some error here in his statement, let me correct it first. CryptoSpotter did some research and I watched his video, and I am surprised all his business and accounts were created in August just before the launch of MetaMonkey. To which the team replied, I am blurring out his name here, but for the sake of this video, let's call him Mr. Nice Guy. So Mr. Nice Guy replied, scam? Dude, really, I am not here to convince anyone anything. I will let the MetaMonkey technology speak for itself. The team has already addressed your questions. What else is there to say have a good day? So Mr. Nice Guy had no answer, now why would a so-called established company make new and fresh social media account, just before the launch of MetaMonkey, so there is definitely something fishy here, in fact I am not even sure how did this company paid 1 million from its own pocket, because this is not some big company, you can google it yourself. They are saying they paid 1 million to NS Lab, now NS Lab is not a big company, it's a company full of students, I don't even know if I should call it a company or an institute, so if you want to build a blockchain it costs you roughly about 40k to sometimes 400k and if the company has a lot of experience it's going to even cost you a half a million or more, but these guys paid them 1 million to a company full of students, now I am not in any way against the students or startup, I am just saying for 1 million they could have hired a company with way too much experience. Let's talk about the third red flag, I recently found out that the contract for this project is created by one and only, the most innovative, the most transparent man on the planet, the father of cryptocurrency, Mr. Cliff Fetner. So the team claims that they are not in any ways associated with Shibnobi, but my question is, out of so many smart contract creators in the world, why would you choose someone like Cliff, despite of knowing what he had done with his own project? In fact Shinja is going to migrate next month because of the shitty contract he created for his own project. So if you are really serious about this project why would you go to a person like Cliff? Now let's talk about their Telegram account, 
Now every shitcoin where low-cap projects Telegram account are used to brainwash people, MetaMonkey is no different, in fact their Telegram account is a joke, recently few people were comparing MetaMonkey to Matic, few of the moderators were also indirectly pushing people to give positive reviews on website, which I think is very unprofessional. If you think your project is serious, you don't need to convince members to go and give fake reviews or positive reviews, if the project performs well, people will automatically go and give positive reviews. Also their telegram group has a pattern, I am not sure if they are insiders of the team or just normal investors, but they come out with some motivational post, so every hour or two these people come out with some motivational post, now all these posts are misguiding you, they are trying to convince you to hold this for long term, but in reality the situation is very different, and the same people are going to dump their bags on you once the price pumps. Check this out, this dude says 3 weeks old and a trip all the way to Korea to drop some bombs on our community. Thank you Meta Monkey devs. Now I am not sure about what bombs have these guys dropped, the only thing which is dropping is the price, and dropping bombs and killing the community is the last thing you can do. If you use just 20% of your brain you can see the trip was just overhyped and nothing else. So guys don't fall for this motivational speakers, they will convince you to sell your house and kidneys and invest all the money in this project. Now guys I would request you all to please take off your 3D fanboy glasses, so I can show you some reality. Check this out, the 24 hours trading volume is just 7k on Dex tool. the overall volume has fallen down from 80k to 60k, check all the volumes on every marketplace and compare it with the volume of other new project, you will get your answers. This project is giving me the vibes of Banana Task Force 8, the project was great, but it failed to get that volume and now the project is in deep shit. For example, let's say you want to sell your tokens, but because the volume is very low, there are very few buyers and sellers, so the chances of selling it on your desired market price is very low, usually when the volume is low, and if you want to sell the token on urgent basis, you have to sell it under the market value, if you don't believe me go and check it on any exchange MetaMonkey is listed on. So guys, if you come to the conclusion, there are too many red flags in this project to be holding it for long term, I mean this project might pump in the coming time, it could 10x, 100x, or 1000x you never know, but the current condition is messed up, and you can't really blame it on the market conditions, there are a lot of things we are lacking at, so if you're someone like me who cannot afford to take risk, like for instance I have invested around 60% of my money in this so my crypto career can end if this project fails, so with all these red flags I cannot be in this project for long term, even if I get like 2x to 5x returns, I am going to fuck out of here, but if you're a son or a daughter of a millionaire you can take risk and hold it for long term. Also one more thing I need to add, there is no nice guy in cryptos, today they are promoting ABC project, tomorrow they will be promoting XYZ project, and you can't really blame them because every one of us are here to make money in the end, they are doing their job. They are hired to promote this project and that's what they are doing. So you always have to stay alert and pull out your investment at the right time, there is nothing called long term here, in fact even the team doesn't know where this project will go, so don't fall for the long term trap, if you want to invest for long term get into blue chips. Now I know a lot of you guys are going to end up calling me a paid fudder, but the intention of making this video was to caution you about the long term trap if you have invested in the pre-sale you guys are still in profit. And even I don't like making such videos, in fact I lose subscribers, and tomorrow I think they are going to remove the 18% sell tax, so you have to be careful, there are chances the price might dip. So guys that's all about it for this video on MetaMonkey, I would love to hear your opinions in the comments section below. place where they told you what to chase told you how to run the race every move was on the page but i didn't like their way had to fight and misbehave had to find a way to change had to leave to find my way caught up in a daydream i beat my mind up there almost daily it's how i pass time no opinions safely it's how i understand what i want in this place see because everybody want to tell you